Okay, if you just joined us, we're doing a quick starter on integers. Type the letter and your correct answer. All right, so negative 3 plus 4, remember. Negative 3 on a number line. If I go to a number line and I got negative 3 and I plus 4, I'm going to end up in the positive space at 1. All right, so that's going to be 1. The next one, 4 minus 3 is 1. Negative 4 minus 3 is negative 7. Check if you got that one correct. Just ask me if you have any questions. All right. Negative 4 plus 3 is negative 1. Because now you're at negative 4 and you're plus 3. 1, 2, 3. So negative 3, negative 2, negative 1. You're going to stop at negative 1. Then you got negative 3 minus 4. Negative 3 minus 4. Minus means you have to go the opposite direction. And why is it minus? Because plus and minus becomes minus. So negative 3 minus 4 is going to go in the opposite direction. 1, 2, 3, 4 will become negative 7. And then negative 3 minus and a minus becomes a plus. Negative 3 plus 4 gets you 1. And 3 minus and a minus becomes a plus. 3 plus 4 gets you 7. Plus and a minus becomes a minus. And minus 4 minus 3 gets you minus 7. All right. So total is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Let me know how much did you get out of 8. All right, I'm going to give you one more example on integers. And then you're going to do a quick activity on integers as well. All right, so I'm going to erase this now. So let's suppose I give you negative 3 plus minus negative 4 minus minus negative 5. What we have to remember here is that these two negatives and the positive, sorry, these two positives and negatives are going to become a negative. And these two over here are going to become a positive. So what does this mean? It means that if we have a positive multiplied by a negative, it becomes a negative. A negative multiplied by a negative becomes a positive. And if you have two positives, it will stay positive. And if you have this the other way around, it will still be negative. Okay, so this can be switched around in the other way as well. Let's take uh, take note of that. Some of you got all of them right. Some of you got some of them right. All right, so negative 3 over here. I can remove the bracket because it's at the start. I don't need it. Plus and minus can become minus. And then I rewrite that. So I'm going to have to need another step to continue with this one. Negative 3 minus minus 4 plus and minus. So let's group these two together now. Minus and a minus group plus and a minus. Minus and a minus becomes a plus by that. Minus plus and a minus becomes a minus by that. That becomes negative 3 plus 4 minus 5. That minus goes there. That plus goes there. Now, let's see. Let's deal from this. From the left-hand side, we go work our way all the way to the right-hand side. Negative 3 plus 4 equal to 1. And 1 minus 5 is equal to minus 4. So the final answer for this is minus 4. Okay, it gets a little tricky, right? Now, you try this one. I want you to try this one. All right, part of integers. Let's say I got, let's say I got 2 minus minus negative 3 plus minus negative 4. Type your answers in. All right, so I got a suggested answer of 3, and I got a suggested answer of 9. I wonder which one is correct. Is the answer 3 or 9, or is it something else? Let's go through it, right? Let's see. The first thing I see is minus and minus. This can become plus, so 2 plus minus 3. I'm just rewriting that bracket. Do it one step at a time. No rushing. One step at a time. Then plus and minus, minus and minus will combine. This will become 2 minus 3. Minus and minus becomes plus 4. Then we deal with 2 minus 3 to become minus 1. And minus 1 plus 4 gets you 3. So the actual answer is 3. So most of you got it wrong. 
All right, we have to do another one, right? Right? Let's do another one. Well done if you got it right. One person got it right. Let's do another one, right? Here we go. Negative 3 minus minus negative 2 plus minus negative 5. All right, go, try it. Okay, you guys seem ready to go through it. So let's have a look at this. I've got suggested answer zero, right? Suggested answer from two people who said it's zero. Let's start in between the brackets. I'm going to put a circle in between the brackets. Let's change that into plus, change that into minus. Just write everything else as it was. Now let's go in between the bracket and the sign. And let's deal with those two first. This becomes minus, that becomes plus, and then bring everything else down. The negative three, it doesn't change. The two change into negative two, with the plus stayed negative two, and minus minus becomes plus five. Now, if I go over here, minus three minus two is minus five, and minus five plus five equals zero. So well done if you got zero. All right, you got it all correct. Well done for that. I'm now going to send you a link, and I want you to practice this for five minutes. So we're then going to move on to multiplication. All right, multiplication. This is level three of the link. Go into the chat, and you'll see. Go to, it's only level three. Don't do anything else. Just do level three. Let me know when you're done. All right. Let's have a look at multiplication of integers now. If I got multiplication and division of integers, okay, so I'm going to multiply or divide. Let's look at the first one. I got negative 3 times negative 4. That gives me positive 12 because minus times a minus is a plus. If I've got negative 3 in a bracket times negative 4 in a bracket, it's still positive 12. If I've got negative, negative 3 times negative 4, then I first have to work this out to get positive 3 times negative 4. And that will give me negative 12 because plus times a minus is a minus. Let's look at a bit of division. If I've got negative 3 divided by negative 4, the minus and minus will become plus, which is 3 over 4. If I have negative 3 divided by positive 4, it stays the same, negative 3 over 4, which is the same as 3 over negative 4. The negative can be at the top, on the side, or at the bottom. It still means the same thing. A little bit more bigger numbers. Let's suppose I've got negative 33 times 10. 33 times 10 is 350. And over here, we have an imaginary positive. There's an imaginary positive in there. So that's going to be minus and a plus becomes a minus. What's the biggest rule with multiplication and divide? The biggest rule with multiplication and divide is that when you have minus times a minus, it equals plus. When you have minus times a plus, it equals minus. If you have minus divided by minus, it equals to plus. And if you have minus divided by plus, it equals to minus. Or the other way around. So these two can go the other way around, and those two can go the other way around as well. Okay. So let's try a few questions. You try a few questions on these. I'm going to put questions up here now. A, B, C, D. E. If you're getting these right, then we move on to the exercise on multiplication and division.
Okay, type your answers in. All right, let's go through it and let's see how much did you get out of eight. The first answer, two negatives become a positive. So that'll be 20 or plus 20, same thing, right? This one will be negative 100. The next one, negative 42. The next one, negative 2. The next one, negative 1 over 2. The next one, positive 1. The next one, 3 times 4 is 12. Negative and negative is a positive. 12 divided by 12 is 1. Positive 1. The next one, you got negative 1 times negative 1 is positive 1. So the last three answers are 1. What did you get out of 8? And if you did 5 questions, what did you get out of 5? Or 6? Or 7? Type it in. When you divide by 0, it's very important. Because when you divide something by 0, it's, it's called undefined. But when you multiply anything by 0, it just becomes 0. Let's have a look at some simple examples on this, okay? If I have 2 times 0, it's equal to 0. And 0 divided by 2 is also equal to 0. But 2 divided by 0 is known as undefined. You can't work this out. It can never be 0. All right, otherwise it's undefined. So any number multiplied by zero gets you zero. Any number divided by zero is undefined. And zero divided by any number is always zero. Now, I'm gonna go and type, I'm gonna send you the link. I want you to do level four. When you're done with level four, type done. Right, level four link coming through, click on it and give it a go. Let me know when you're done. And also let me know how many did you get right out of 12. Looking at integers now, I'm gonna ask you a few random questions. Okay, so let's go to the shared board. I want you to go to the shared space over there, right? Have a look at the shared space. Now, if I've got, I want, I want you to type greater than, less than, or equals okay you just got to type greater than less than or equals all right I've got the absolute value of negative 3 and I've got the number 3 all right so what would that be greater than less than or equals type it in just remember, on your keyboard, you'll find the greater than and less than. You've got to press shift and a comma. On your keyboard, you press shift and full stop. And this one, you press shift and plus to get the equal sign. Oh, actually, you don't have to press shift and plus. You just press equals by the plus button. Okay, so this one, you type your answers in. Just type greater than, less than, or equals. Which one do you think will go? Will it be greater than, will it be less than, or will it be equals? Okay, so greater than, less than, or equals. The answer here is equal because this is going to become 3, and that's 3, so they're equal. All right, so let's try another one. The answer to that one was 3. Let's try another one. Let's suppose I've got negative 4 and the absolute value of negative 4. Cool, keep those answers coming in. All right. Try it. All right. Let's have a look. Now, the absolute value of negative 4, remember what absolute value does to a number. 
it makes it into positive 4. So that means this has to be greater than. Okay, let's try the next one. Cool. First answer I got is correct. Definitely either greater or less than which one. Well done. Next answer I got was correct. If you just typed. Well done. Correct. I'm getting three answers. So there's still other answers. Marcus, you there? Tiffany, you there? And Hannah as well, All right? Type your answers in. Marcus, Tiffany, and Hannah, if you're there. Type less than, greater than, or equal to for this one. All right, so this one is going to be positive 3, so it's greater than, I mean less than, because the crocodile will always eat the bigger number. Okay, here we go. Next one, negative 12 and negative 11, which one? Absolute value. Okay, well done, Nishwan. Well done, Nihang. Right. Now remember, 12 is going to be positive and 11 is going to be there, so greater than. Yeah, that's it, greater than. If you want to, you can type the word greater, or you can type the word less, or you can type the word equal. All right. Let's try another one. If I've got negative... 345, negative 354, which one is it going to be, greater, less, or equal? Well done, Ishwan, well done, Yihang, well done, Marcus, well done, Jaden. Cool, so that's going to be this way because this is going to become 345. This is going to become 354. So it goes like that. Alrighty, awesome. Alright, I'm not going to paste the Kahoot. I'm going to paste the Kahoot in and you guys are going to go through the Kahoot. Alright, get ready. 